Tip number five, make a small test circuit board. And this is a good one. This is a really important one. You know, if uh, in your schematic, you need to create a circuit, which is designed just from your head, I always recommend you to build a small board where you can test this circuit. Do something like this. Okay. Maybe it doesn't look nice. Yeah. But it's going to save you a lot of time and it's going to save a lot of money. Take uh, or make a simple one layer PCB, solder down the components of the small circuit and test it. Test if it works the way as you are expecting. Many, many, many times these kind of circuits which you need to design from your head, they may work maybe as third, fourth, fifth revision. The first version of these small circuits, many times it behaves differently. And uh, it's especially true about circuits with transistors or with a bunch of uh, gates or mix of these yeah, transistors plus some gates. Circuits like this. This one, which you can see here, and this one, which you can see here, power input protection and intelligent uh, power switch between USB input power and uh, jack input power. I think it took Martin like four different revisions to tweak it into the stage that it worked exactly the way as we want it. It doesn't mean the first uh, revision is wrong. It always works somehow, but you need to make it or you, you really may want to make it better. And sometimes it doesn't work correctly. So you need to make the second revision and then third one. The thing is, if you don't make these small PCBs, and if you just do it in this uh, in your project, like for example, if Martin would do it in this project uh, with 30 pages, it would cost a lot of money to make like fa five revisions of this board. Yeah, and it's not necessary. You can test it on the small PCB. And I'm not saying that to build this board, it may take uh, three, four weeks. So for each different revision, you would need to wait four weeks. It would take almost half year just to debug and tweak this circuit here. So always, if in your schematic, you need to design a small circuit, make the small one layer test boards, do some measurements, be sure everything works exactly as it should, and then use it in your schematic. So don't forget tip number five, make small test circuit boards. Why? Because you may be surprised how the first revision of a simple circuit may not work the way as you are expecting.